Hello and welcome to this PS Trace tutorial video. Today I would like to show you the curve operations window that gives, that gives you a few opportunities to actually process your curves inside PS Trace. So without further ado, let's have a look at that. Okay, so you find the curve operations here with that button that you might have seen a few times but might have been too afraid to click. So now I'm clicking it and you get a list of curves and a list of possible operations you can do. Easy ones are uh, to add or subtract a curve from uh, another curve. So let's say for example I have here in the background these multiple DPV measurements that are standard additions and I did previously a blank measurement which would be the red curve here. So now I want to subtract the blank from all of my measurements. So I can just select, well I can just actually select all of them. Uh, then I choose the red curve, I choose to subtract and then I choose apply. Then this operation is executed and you see that each curve now has a second curve that says the curve's name minus the red curve. So now I have um, nicely um, subtracted a background, right? So if I isolate this one and plot, now this one gives a more, um, a more straight back line, uh, baseline than before. Okay, what are other curve operations? So let's have a look at this curve. Maybe you're just interested in the um, relations between in the relative intensities, so you want to normalize your curves. So you can, for example, multiply or divide by a factor. So for example, I could divide here by, uh, or I couldn't, well, I can't divide, I can only multiply, so I have to uh, multiply by one divided by three. That means I am multiplying by um, three, 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 three and I apply this, oops sorry, I need to select a curve of course before and I've chosen this curve and that is number four, number four is here, there we go and I apply this and I have now a curve, if I isolate this one, where the highest peak is now at one, right, because before it was three I now I uh, multiplied it with one third and now I have it at one. So these are just basic arithmetic operations. Um, what we also have is you can smooth your curve. This is just a regular moving average smoothing. Um, yeah, so you can choose to have like no smoothing, then you just have spike rejection. This is usually the de default for our measurements. That means if there's just a single completely outlying point, it will be taken out of the measurement after you've finished it. Otherwise you can switch on more smoothing, which is nice because it removes a lot of noise, but keep in mind that the more you smooth, the more you remove the um, peak intensity as well. Okay, you also can average multiple curves and I would like to show you um, that on a different curve that I'm going quickly to load. So I'm going to data, load a file, and I'm lo loading the one that says curve averaging. Yes, I want to get rid of my old data. Okay, so um, here you see multiple measurements that I have done in a noisy environment. So actually this is all the same measurement, but I had it open without a Faraday cage next to a computer. So there was some noise distorting my DPVs that I did here. Well, one way of getting rid of noise could be averaging of these curves and that you can do in PS Trace. So again, we go back to the curve operations, we choose to average and we just select all of these curves. And then we want to um, average these. Okay, oh, actually, yeah. So uh, for that, I just need to press then apply and I get an averaged curve, which is this new curve that appeared. So isolated and plot, and you see it's a lot smoother than the other ones. Well, but it doesn't have a nice baseline. Hmm. This is also offered by the um, curve operations window. We have multiple 
baseline um, subtraction of, of um, offers, but this is now for um, for you creating a baseline. This is not if you have made a measurement that is supposed to be your baseline. So for example, you can just make a linear baseline. This is if you have like already a rather nice flat um, curve. Oh yes, so first of course I need to select the curve that I want to um, do the baseline for. Then I click on the option for a linear baseline and I can for example say like, oh obviously this is my baseline. Well it's not, but just you know to show you how it works. It makes out of two points a line and then this line is subtracted from your measurement. If you accept it, you get a new curve that's representing that new baseline. Um, other options are a non-linear baseline, where that works very similar, but you do it non-linear. So you first choose the order of the polynome that you want to use to fit your baseline. Let's say maybe four. Then you need to select the according points. The software is trying to find a polynome that matches your points. So maybe let's add a few points. There we go. And then you can also say apply and you get your new baseline and then you accept it. Okay, cool. So that's a non-linear one. And the last one that I would like to show you is um, the last baseline operation is moving average baseline. Um, here what you do is, oh, of course, still I need to select a curve. Um, there what I can do is, is um, you, we basically um, make a baseline by averaging windows, point windows, so you can select how big that window is, you make averages, you compare the averages, and then we're averaging the averages and comparing etc. till we have completely got rid of the peaks and just are left with the line. The steeper a peak, the faster it will be dampened in that baseline. Right, um, so we can apply this and then you see that it's making uh, this new curve, which is very pale. Well, once we've accepted it, we can actually nicely see this new curve. There we go. Um, these are the different baseline operations. Now, the last thing that we have in the operations window is discarding data points. So let's say you have a measurement and you find that parts of this measurements are obviously nonsense. Maybe someone walked by your experiment, somebody bumped into the table and you got a lot of spikes that are actually not logical. Then you can choose a part of your measurement and just cut the points off there. So we accept and then you see now we got a new curve. I'll just switch on this one, off this one. Now we got a new curve where a part of the points has been eliminated. Well, these are the different options that the curve operation Windows uh, offers to you. Um, I guess you can find a lot of applications for this. I'm curious to see what you are going to do with this. Um, I hope you found this video helpful. If you want to see more videos, please visit our YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe and also follow us on LinkedIn so you don't miss any of the updates that we're posting there. So thanks for watching and have a great day.